You know Thor's hammer Mjolnir, right? In Marvel, it's made from this mythical metal called Uru, forged in the heart of a dying star. But let's forget the magic for a second. What would it actually take to make something like that in real life? First, the material. Uru is supposed to be super dense and able to channel ridiculous amounts of energy. In real science, the closest we've got is tungsten, the metal with the highest melting point, or maybe graphene composites which are incredibly strong and light. But if we really wanted star forged density, we'd have to use neutron star matter. And here's the catch. A teaspoon of that stuff weighs about 4 billion tons, and if you brought it to Earth, it would just punch straight through the planet. Then comes forging it. The heart of a star means millions of degrees in temperature. Our best furnaces can't even come close. We'd need something like a magnetic confinement fusion reactor to even try shaping metals under plasma level heat. Now for the power. Mjolnir doesn't just smash things, it stores and blasts out insane amounts of energy. In the real world, you'd need some kind of supercapacitor or room temperature superconductor built right into it, and we haven't cracked that tech yet. And the only if you're worthy thing? Yeah, no physics for that. The closest we could get is biometric security, fingerprint scanners, AI-controlled locks, torque sensors, but that's not quite as dramatic as Odin's enchantment. So basically, to build Mjolnir for real, we'd need materials we can't safely handle, heat hotter than the sun, and energy storage beyond anything we've invented. Until then, the hammer's staying in Asgard.